Pascal's law of transmission of pressure. It is applicable to static fluids. In a static fluid, when an additional pressure is exerted, this additional pressure is transmitted in all directions and diminished equally. Suppose, Here it is a container having the two cylinders, one cylinder having the small area, another cylinder having the large area. Area of a small cylinder is A1 and area of a large cylinder is A2 and it is a both the cylinders are fitted with the pistons. its area is A2. Now, it is a piston fitted with a, this cylinder, it is a piston fitted with a, this cylinder. Now, this is filled with a liquid or a fluid. Now, when we apply a pressure P on the cylinder of smaller area, applying the pressure P with a force F1, force F1 is acting on the cylinder of area A1, so pressure acting on it is P is equal to force by area F1 by A1. Now this pressure P is transmitted in all directions and diminished equally. It is transmitted from here to everywhere in all directions without undiminished and without diminished and equally. So the same pressure P will act here. So the pressure P acting on the piston of larger area also P. Now based on this principle, hydraulic machines works. Now there are two types of hydraulic machines, uh, hydraulic lift and hydraulic brake. Now usually uh, this is the construction of the hydraulic lift. Now basically the hydraulic lifts are used to lift the heavy objects like uh, a car or a uh, lorry like that. Now, how does it works? The hydraulic lift contains a, a container of a smaller cylinder and larger cylinder. The cylinders are fitted with uh, pistons. Now this cylinder having the piston of area A1, this cylinder is having the piston of area A2. Now the load which is to be lifted, for example we want to lift uh, uh, a car, the car should be placed here. Suppose uh, it is a car, the car should be lifted. Now the weight which is to be lifted that is placed on the cylinder of larger area and the force is applied on the cylinder of smaller area. Now we are applying the force F1 on the cylinder of area A1. So the pressure acting on it is P is equal to F1 by A1. According to Pascal's law of transmission of pressure, this pressure is uh, transmitted equally in all directions undiminished. Now it is transmitted equally in all directions. So, so the same pressure P acts on the piston of area A2. So how much force acts on the piston of area A2? Let it be F2. It is going by force is equal to pressure into area P into A2. Now F2 is the force acting on the large piston. F2 is equal P means F1 by A1 into A2. I can also write this as F2 is equal to a2 by a1 into f1 here we know a2 is greater than a1 a2 is larger area a1 is smaller area a2 greater than a1 that implies if a2 greater than a1 f2 also greater than f1 means uh, on the piston of smaller area we are applying a small force the small force is uh, converted into large force here f2 greater than f1 means uh, this car is lifted with a large force if you apply the small force on the piston of small area and the piston of small area f1 small force is exerted so the small force is converted into large force f2 on the piston of a large area now in this way using the concept of pascal's law of transmission of pressure hydraulic lift works